difficult this is for me, but there's no talking going on here. Doesn't seem to be much to say. Well, just tell each other how you really feel. But with speaking. <laughs> Look, Amy, you know what's on your father's mind. He's worried about you being here all alone in Los Angeles. Well, I already told him not to worry. This town is nothing but a bunch of snyder strung together. <laughs> Telling someone who's worried not to worry doesn't mean they're going to stop worrying. Oh, that's not it. He knows I didn't come to L.A. to get in trouble. There was plenty of opportunity for that back in Snyder. Then, uh... What is his problem? You got me. The problem is I miss you. I miss you, Amy. Well, the other day I came home with a sack of red licorice and you're the only one in the house that ever liked that stuff. I just can't get used to the idea that you're not there anymore. You know, I've been thinking too. I could call more than once a week. And shoot. I could just hop on a plane every now and then and could you sorry, honey. Oh hush. Tips since I was 15 years old and working the snack bar at the Little League. <laughs> I know the pounds off people were hard to deal with, but let's face it, losing weight is murder. I know what I'm like when I'm on a diet. I get mean. My last diet, I saw this kid coming down the street eating a fudgesicle, and I bumped into him just so that he'd drop it on the sidewalk. We both cried. <laughs> <laughs> last time I tried to lose weight, I bought a box of those tasteless diet cookies. Those are awful. Not be eaten with ice cream. <laughs> I was on one of my famous starvation diets, and Ellen forgot to take her lunch to school one day. So like a good mom, I got in the car, got about halfway there, Pulled behind a billboard and ate the goo goo pie. <laughs> no, I'm just the opposite. I eat and I eat and I eat. I never get an ounce. And her father wants her back. <laughs> hey, guys, look what I just found in my snifter. It's addressed to all of us. There's a note. Dear gang, thanks for the help and patience. Consider this the tips you never got. It's from the pounds off now people. Isn't that sweet? Aww. It's a check for 500 bucks. Whoa. Wow. Hey, hey, that's $125 a person if we don't count Sunny. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's made out to the United Fund, donated in all our names. Oh, well, it's a good cause. Sure it is. Yeah, that was very thoughtful of the Pounds Off Now people. Vicious suckers, aren't they? <laughs> Hi, Mark. Yes, it should have been caught. Patrick Patterson trying to whip that one over the infield somewhere. So the West Indies finally dismissed 449. And a brilliant performance it was too, dominated by that marvellous knock from Vivian Richards. You won't see better entertainment than that at any test match ground in the world. Just a look at the cards now to confirm that score of 449. 146 to Richards and Logie 93. They were the not out batsmen overnight. Then Geoffrey Dujon, a little cameo of an innings, some lovely strokes there of his pads, particularly two on drives from Tim May. Marshall, Ambrose, Walton, Patterson going at the end. And the bowling figures, Lawson 3 for 97. Hughes 5 for 130. Second time he's taken five wickets in a test match innings. Dodder made no wickets in war. Also quite expensive, but also unlucky. And May, 2 for 40 from 10 overs. The Australian openers, when they came out to bat, Boone and Marsh had to survive five overs up to the T interval. That was very, very close to the leg stump. Marsh was unaware of the danger. And it was danger which was a whisker from that leg stump. Yes, that was extremely close. And uh, I think it had enough pace to have knocked the bales off. Jeffrey Nash didn't realise until too late. In fact, it came off the thigh pad onto his gloves. 